It's great to have you sitting right beside me, um, given the fact that we've seen this momentous news um, coming uh, in the last few days. And I'm talking, of course, about this deal between Iran and Saudi Arabia. Now, the restoration of diplomatic relations, how quickly in your mind do you think we're going to see Saudi Arabia making significant investments and vice versa? Um, I would say very quickly when um, um, people really stick to the principles of what was agreed, um, I think that that could happen very quickly. Our aim, and um, I think this has been made very clear previously even by our leadership, is to have a region that is stable, that is um, able to provide for its people um, and uh, prosper. And there is no reason um, uh, for that not to happen. I mean, Iran is our neighbor and have been and will continue to be uh, for uh, hundreds of years. So uh, I, I don't see any issue uh, that would prevent uh, normalization of the relationship, uh, cross investments, etc., as long as we stick to agreements of really, you know, respecting uh, sovereign uh, um, uh, rights, uh, not interfering in others' uh, affairs, uh, respecting United Nations Convention and, and uh, others. Uh, so I don't see any really impediment uh, any on that. Any in particular that you and see? I think, I think without going into details, I think you know, we recognize, and as the colleagues have said, we recognize clearly that for you to be able to focus on your economic development um, uh, and uh, focus on providing for the people uh, in, in your country, and you need stability. Um, and they need stability, both. And I think they, there are a lot of opportunities in, in Iran, and we provide a lot of opportunities for them. Uh, uh, as long as, you know, goodwill continues. Yeah.